Okay, this is the second half of the video um, from a maybe yesterday or two days ago or something where I show you all the stuff I got at this, uh, during this big thrifting spree. Um, that was not pants, this is all not pants. So, first up, we have a Ralph Lauren shirt. That is, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call it denim. It's not chambray, because chambray, what I learned from Thrift Life, is the same color on both sides, so it'd be dark blue on both sides. This is denim, I'm gonna call it denim, and it's gonna sell for like $30. I have an L.L. Bean corduroy shirt. L.L. Bean corduroy shirts have a high sell through rate. Don't think it's 100%, but I know it's high. You can fact check me on that. If you could fact check me on everything I say, that would actually be great, and then let me know, and then I know. Because I'm just going off what I know and what I knew, because things change pretty quickly, when, especially when it comes to like sell through rate. This is a uh, Abercrombie & Fitch zip hoodie. That's what I looked up. Abercrombie & Fitch zip hoodie men's 2XL. Has over 100% sell through rate. Probably get like 35 bucks for that. This company, I call it Young La, but I, it's actually Young LA. Pretty much every single thing you find from this company is good. Grab it. It's not huge prices. But there's a really low volume on eBay and a pretty good demand. This company is called Magpul. That's what the logo looks like there. Hair is like so freaking puffy today. It's puffy and greasy somehow. Um, anyways, paid six bucks for this. It's similar to 511 Tactical, except it's not 511 Tactical. Uh, there's less on eBay. Less sell. It's not 100% sell through. It used to be. I think it's around 50% now. At least for their button up shirts. I still grab them. They sell for like 25 bucks. This is one of my favorite finds of the day. It's a uh, Wrangler Pearl Snap Western shirt. Paid six bucks for it. Probably listed for like 35. If it has a really cool pattern, in like pretty colors like this. List it higher. Got kind of a lot here, so I'll go a little quick. Um, this company's called Ballast Point. Uh, it's either a bar or a type of beer, because it says Brewing Co. Paid four bucks for it. Um, their shirts have, I think, either close to 100% sell through rate, meaning in my book, the actives are the same quantity as the solds for the last 90 days. Um, yeah, it's high sell through rate, basically. I found it at the bins a couple times. This was not at the bins. Here's an Under Armour. That's their fishing logo. See, it has like those hooks on there. Sorry, this chair keeps making noise. This is a vintage, or a vintage fishing shirt. And I pick those up. Pick them up. All, pretty much all the Under Armour ones I see, and right now all the Columbia PFG ones I see because they are selling super fast. Um, one thing to note about when you're looking at sell through rate, it goes back 90 days. So if the sell through rate is great right now, but two months ago it was bad, it's not gonna look great. But I just take my word for it, the uh, Columbia PFG shirts sell really fast right now. Um, this is a thing for seven dollars. It's a Universal Studios crew neck sweatshirt. Vintage made in USA. For like 25, 30 bucks if I had to guess. Uh, for vintage stuff, I had to pick up like name brand vintage stuff like Levi's or whatever. Or it has to be like culturally relevant. Sports or really cool. And that's culturally relevant, it's not that cool. This is a, um, it's like a canvas jacket, shirt jacket, um, with a flannel lining, an L.L. Bean. They're heavier weight, kind of like outerwear stuff, I pick up pretty much all of it from L.L. Bean. Got a Patagucci, women's, 
twelve ninety nine. It's probably no more than thirty dollars. I don't really pick up this brand anymore unless it's vintage. That's what it looks like. Crazy shirts, Hawaii. This one's made in USA. It's like a pullover uh, sweater thing. Uh, but yeah, the the stuff with the Kilbin cat on it. I probably said this a million times. Is like the main thing you want to get. Mainly just the vintage Kilbin cat stuff. Here's a vintage Dickies. Work shirt, made in USA. Paid way too much for it. 25% uh, off of 11.49. It's probably only worth like 25 bucks tops. I just thought it was cool and I was finding a bunch of vintage stuff yesterday. Maybe I'll try it on or something. An area shirt, so this stuff's all from uh, Savers now, I think. Uh, which was 25% off there yesterday. Area. I don't think those shirts are 100% sell through anymore. Um, they still sell reasonably fast though. Ariat's just a solid company. They had 25% off of 15 bucks for this because I should have double checked, but I've sold this same ex exact, uh, actually not the same exact one. The one I sold was embroidered. This one, oh, this one is embroidered. It's a regular Jack Daniels uh, button up shirt, basically. I sold the same one in black a couple of times last year, so for like 35 bucks. So I figured it was safe to pay 11 bucks for it. And it's savers to get the good stuff. Um, I go on all the sale. Well, I go on, I don't want to tell you what I do, but I, I'm comfortable paying up because you actually get more quality on the days where um, it's not half off. Anyways, pair of Fox Ranger. Uh, mountain bike shorts, Fox Ranger stuff has a higher sell through rate than regular Fox stuff because uh, it's their mountain bike line. Here's a Roar shirt. Or I usually sell these for like 25 bucks. This one is new with tags. Um, it's actually a cool, like, uh, what do you call this kind of color? Charcoal with a huge embroidery on the back. I don't know. I have to look up what new with tags Roar shirts uh, go for, but. Even if it wasn't new with tags, it'd still be making 10 bucks or whatever. So hopefully I make 20 bucks on that. A pair of Travis Matthew shorts. These haven't really come back yet. There's a little paint stain on the butt right there. Um, I was thinking Travis Matthew might come back like all the other golf stuff, but it still kind of sucks. Volcom, this is lower end stuff right here. 25% off of six, but Volcom, uh, camo stuff for me, woo, flies off the shelf. A pair of Dixon shorts. Now in the previous video, I looked at Dixon chino pants. They were not as good as I was hoping, like 35 bucks. With a good sell through rate, but not 100%. I'm gonna look up their shorts. Dixon chino shorts. Let's see, we got 49 sold. I think that's more than there was for the pants. I might actually list the pants higher than everyone else by like $20 because there's so few on eBay, I doubt there's the exact size that I have. Um, anyways, the shorts are over 100% sell through it. But those pants I showed you in the last video, sometimes I do that is I just price higher than everyone else. I know, whatever, um, whatever. This is, Catton last year used to be really good. This is Catton for Urban Outfitters. I don't think Catton's as good as it was last year. But these are cool shorts. We didn't pay too much for them, like five bucks after the discount. Hopefully get 25 bucks. Urban Outfitters is bad, but not always bad. There are certain things like, isn't BDG made by Urban Outfitters? There are certain things where like, if it looks interesting, it can be worth looking up. This is a Carhartt Force polo shirt. Paid 25% off of $8.49. A lot for that. It's really probably only a $15 item. Well, it's the Force line, so it might be worth a little more. It sold in the store for $31.99. I 
their force line is like their more performance fabrics. So maybe 20 bucks if I'm lucky. John Barbados sucks now. Not the whole brand, but button up shirts. This one I got because of the cool like charcoal washed out look. But it, you, I, I won't pick up, I did last week and then I looked at the seltzer and I was like, oh my God, I shouldn't have done that. I picked up like two uh, button up shirts, like plaid ones and they suck. But I also picked up another shirt last week that should sell for like a hundred bucks. So John Barbados is all over the place. Try to just stick to cooler looking stuff. Um, or more unique stuff or outerwear or like pants or shorts, anything that's not a plaid button up shirt. This is a Footjoy golf shirt with a Bacardi logo. Um, I think that's the Bacardi logo, right? I've had a lot of luck with like golf stuff that's branded with alcohol. Like third party logo kind of thing. Sorry, it's really echoey in here. Oh, my mustache got out of my mouth. 511 Tactical Cargo, or no, 511 Tactical Board Shorts are a very high sell through rate. I can't remember if it was over 100%. I think it was. So I'm just gonna go with that, over 100%. These were over 100%. The company is called HV111. Or HVI, I, when I typed it in, I did HVIII. Uh, not huge prices or anything. I think they were like 25, 30 bucks or something. But yeah, HV111. That's a new one for me. These are not going to be high sell through. But if they're a decent price in the thrift and they're a cool wacky pattern, Volcom board shorts. Out of all the like lowest end, uh, like surf board short type brands, Volcom is definitely my favorite. Let's see, we got a couple of these guys. Big shirt in a really bad size. Pay 25% off of four bucks on all these. They're all the same color. I guess I only got three of them, huh? Thought I got more. Well, I got like eight pairs of the pants. So I'll probably lot up, or not lot, I'll make like sets out of three of those with three of the pants. Got a vintage Nike, I don't even know, Seminoles? Is that baseball? What is that? I don't know sports. Seminoles are Native Americans, right? So they might have changed their name or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's on this old Nike team tag. It's not made in USA. So it's either late 90s or early 2000s. Another little foot joy shirt. Flip those for like 15 bucks. We have an untuck it long sleeve Henley shirt. Now, I looked at the sell through rate on these yesterday. Not 100%, right? But when I tried to look up long sleeve, Henley shirts, it kept putting short sleeve ones in there. But when I looked at the pictures of all the solds, all the solds were long sleeves. So I think that the sell through rate is actually better than it looks like because it's hard to split up short sleeve and long sleeve for some reason. Also, when I type shorts into eBay, it brings up shirts because shirts have short sleeves. So there's some issues with eBay's Search, which is annoying when you're trying to do research. We have an Ariat shirt for 25% off for $9.49. It's like a vintage. I'm gonna go ahead and call it a fishing shirt in the listing. It's like a nice stretchy, probably nylon blend, rip stop. It's probably a pretty good item. There's another pretty good item. I've only sold two or three of these. But I think they were all over $30. It's a chubby shirt with like a cool neon sign print. I haven't found chubby shorts in like six months. This one I got because it was kind of unique. Um, 
Another one where I tried to look up Peter Millar's chambray shirt and all the shirts I was, it was showing were not chambray. This is a Peter Millar chambray shirt, not denim, because this one is this color on the inside and this color on the outside, which I learned from Thrift to Life. So. Rock and roll, rock and roll cowboy, pearl snap, Western shirt, size XL. Has over 100% sell through rate. 25, maybe, 20, maybe 30 bucks. Let's just go ahead and say 30. I was surprised on the sell through rate and the prices on this. I almost got it just as like a novelty thing. But it, when I looked it up to make sure, it was actually kind of good. Wrangler Billabong. Um, it's a collab between those two companies. Yeah, maybe like 30, 35 bucks. We're not 100% sell through, but not terrible. Howler Bros, here's a good one. But it has a huge hole in the back, which I saw as I was ringing it up at the self checkout. And I was like, screw it. I'll just sell it for cheaper and slower. Grayson. Now, research tells me that this is a good polo company, good golf polo company, but I pick them up and they don't sell. But the research, the sell through is good. I'm gonna double check. And this is another one where eBay, you type in Grayson with an E, because this company is an E, and eBay a lot of times corrects it to an A, which is really annoying. Grayson polo shirt. There's also a women's Grayson that does have an A, where they make like button up shirts and they sell for like 50 bucks. Okay, so Grayson polo shirt large will look up. 494 listed total, 827 sold. So it is a super good sell-through rate, but for some reason when I list these, they just don't sell. I mean, they sell, let me look in my store. Like they should sell for like at least 35 bucks fast. Let's see. Two listed right now. One's for $35.88. One's for $45.88. Because I'm kind of experimenting here, trying to see what'll actually work. And then sold. Well, here's the problem. eBay corrects it to Grayson with an A. Grayson Polo. Let me type in Polo and see if that works. Okay. Sorry, this part might be boring for you, but it's the most interesting part for me. Okay, I have five sold. But... In order to get those to sell, one of them got all the way down to $16.67. Another one got all the way down to $19.35. Another one got all the way down to $15. Another one, $18.88. According to the sell theory, and all of my experience on eBay, it should sell in 1.5 months for full price of 35.88. But it never does, ever. Um, but this one has a cool little wolf print, so maybe, maybe. Because my, in my store, the prices drop. That's why I look up sell through rates to make sure that they don't drop too low. Um, it's, my store is like a reverse auction that takes place over about six, a six month period. I don't want anything in my store over six months because you only have so much room and I want to keep increasing my listings every day or not every day, every month. But yeah, so the price is pretty much dropped to zero. I don't know, it's just sad with this Grayson company. All the other really good polo companies like Roebuck, Roback, um, Bad Birdie, uh, William Murray. All those ones sell fast like they should, like the sell through rate says, but those ones don't. This is a mid. Uh, Peter Millar Summer Comfort. With a little, little thing there. I don't know what that is, but those to me sell for no more than $20 within three months. Unless there's something um, unique about them. 
Here's a Peter Millar regular polo shirt, which I usually don't grab, but this one is like a slightly uh, performance stretchy material. I usually only grab like the Crown Sports, uh, the Summer Comforts. Um, see, this one's just the regular old Peter Millar tag. But I'm gonna say stretch in that title, because it's stretchy. I might not say performance. This one's really good. Um, way over 100% sell through. Company's called Orlebar Brown. It's a polo shirt. It should sell for about 50, maybe 60, I don't know, something dollars. In my brief research in the store, that's what it looked like. Really good sell through, really good prices. That one's new to me. Here's another golf polo shirt. This one is the Nike Tiger Woods collection. They're all gonna be older, but I was looking through my uh, store doing research on my own sales. Um, in all the, of all the Nike polos that I list, the Tiger Woods ones are like the only ones that actually sell right now. So I'm only picking up the Tiger Woods ones. This company is good. This is a triathlon suit. So it's like a uh, suit that you can swim in, run in, and cycle in. You can tell them because they go over the shoulders with wider straps. Like if this had a kind of a deep V cut and then thin straps, that would be like cycling bib shorts. But you can tell these ones because they cover like the full chest and back and they have really light padding. Look them up when you find them because a lot of the times they can be pretty darn good. Probably like 35 to 50 for this company called Orco or Orca. A little wear on the back logo though, so maybe more like 35. A pair of Lululemon shorts, size small. I think these are the, oh, let me show you guys. The ones with this thing, it's like a little mesh thing here. See that little detail? What are they called? Oh my God, there's this one guy in the comments who says it every single time when I forget. What is it called? Pace breaker. These are the Lulu, Lululemon pace breaker shorts. Those are the unlined ones. They have lined ones and unlined ones. This I got just for cool factor. They're vintage um, Boston Red Sox shorts from Front Row Apparel made by Salem, uh, made in USA. So pretty cool. The elastic's good in the waist. If I liked baseball and Red Sox, I'd wear those for sure. And this was the find of the day. It happens to be last and not least. The company is called, God, I hope these are real. I mean, I checked them. I checked all the tags, all the details in the thrift before I bought them to make sure they look legit and they really, really do. The company is called Tom Brown, made in Japan. That's why I looked them up. Um, and these should fetch me north of $200. Solid sell through. I think it was like maybe 60% uh, for Tom Brown shorts. And the prices are insane. Like unbe unbelievably insane. And these ones have these dolphins on them. A lot of the ones I saw, sold did not have dolphins. So either, I'm gonna look and see if there's any listed with dolphins and none sold with dolphins. How based on price on that. If there's none listed with dolphins and none sold with dolphins, I'm gonna list them for like 350 just to be crazy. Um, but yeah, this looks cheap to me. Like this is like this weird little paper tag on the front. All the sold ones have the same exact tag. The way this is stitched on look cheap to me. All the sold ones were stitched on super shitty like that. I double checked everything. This looks like shit, total fake. All the ones I saw sold looked like shit, total fake. So every, everyone's selling fake ones and I'm gonna sell a fake one. I mean, they feel really high quality. Just the tags look like shit. So hopefully not fake. Um, I've never heard of this company before, so if this was like Gucci shorts, I wouldn't even bother buying them. But I feel like because 
I've never heard of this company. I feel like it's under the radar enough that like, maybe they won't come after you if, if you do accidentally list, list a fake one. But I'm pretty, based on everything I looked at, these look totally legit compared to the ones that sold. So I'm just gonna go for it and list them. Um, and yeah, that's everything I found. At the thrift store the other day, I found two pairs of Cactus Jack X um, Jordan jogger pants. And I sat there for like 30 minutes trying to verify if these are real. And like I grabbed a bunch of Jordan stuff from the rack and I was looking at the Jordan tags and I was looking at the Jordan tag in there. And the problem was that all of the Jordan stuff, the stuff that was like super cheap, just like athletic shorts or like a basic t-shirt, the stitching on the tags also looked shitty. And it was 100% real because it's something that would not be faked. And it looked also like that in these Cactus Jack shorts or pants. Um, I think it's like the Travis Scott thing, right? And those pants, could have been like $500 a piece, maybe. Maybe 250 to 500, but I left them. And I put them like on the rack so people could find them. Cause, I don't know, but, and I was looking at the pictures online and the color just looked slightly off. <sighs> but I still think about it. Um, yeah, all right, thank you, bye.